it's Nihal Sarin versus Yu Yangi and Nihal pushes his pawn to h5 this is the sixth round of the Sharjah Masters 2023 Nihal makes his move and gets up from the chair Yu Yangi quickly plays his king to g8 the position is slightly better for Nihal he has a passer on e5 and d5 pawn is slightly weak but how exactly do you break through in this position it's not at all easy but if there's someone who can do it it's Nihal Sarin he is known for his positional prowess and here Yu Yangi says that I don't really have a plan I'm just going to wait it out maybe move my king back and forth and hope that you do something which will give me some play he goes queen to g1 and I think somewhere Nihal is angling for g4 breakthrough although it would be very risky because his king would open up 22 minutes for Nihal Sarin, 45 minutes for Yu Yangi. He goes rook to g8. One of the things that Nihal can do is break with b4. I think that's a very logical break. And here both the players have left the board. Okay, now they are back. And Nihal is still deciding what exactly the plan is to be taken. It's not easy. He goes queen d1. He defends h5 and attacks d5 pawn thrice. So the only move is to go back with the rook which Yu Yangi does. When is Nihal going to break with b4 is the question. And he does it. Wow. He plays it. He plays b4 and you can sense that Nihal wants to play for a win here. His opponent is rated 27, 29. He is higher rated than him. But for Nihal, the position is better for himself. And why not to try? Why not to press? That's the point. He takes on c5 and very logical now to take with the pawn. Because if you take with the queen, the d4 square is lost and that would mean trouble. So he takes with the pawn. Now, whenever you push c4, it is met with d4. So there's nothing much to worry there. But now when Nihal goes queen f3, you can notice that if c4, d4 is not possible. So Yu Yangi quickly moves his queen away from e6. Nihal comes back. Is he, is he angling for a draw? Maybe he wants to get in from this side. And so Yu Yangi stops that right in its tracks. What is an active plan here for Nihal? I would say that it has to be g4. Somewhere he must go g4. Queen e6 played. And now let's look at something like g4 takes takes that would be a clear advantage but Nihal is not going for that risky strategy here he plays his queen up to e3 he has five minutes left while Yu Yangi has managed his time very well has almost 35 minutes on the clock he goes rook c8 and now Nihal can play a3 waiting move he can go a4 as well he can bring his rook to g2 aim for g4 queen f3 you know there are many plans but black is very well placed to meet each one of them at the same time having just five minutes is not an encouraging sign nihal goes queen f3 and you can sense from his body language that he's not that happy to press and they offer draw and they have agreed to a draw so nihal who seemed like he was pressing did decided against the g4 plan he thought it was too risky and the players have agreed to a draw. A very solid show by Nihal Sarin in this tournament until now. He has had two wins and four draws out of six rounds. So that's a total of four points out of six. And he is uh, in the joint second place in this tournament, gaining some rating points as well. Moving quickly towards 2700 mark. Yu Yangi would be happy because he was under pressure throughout the game and it has ended in a draw.